Hello YouTube, this is MB. Uh, we will talk about Python, IPython today, IPython or Interactive Python and Jupyter Notebooks. Uh, first, let's go ahead and uh, install pip install Jupyter Jupyter that is spelled with Y, Jupyter. Uh, I have already installed, uh, I wanted to install one more package, matplotlib. It's a uh, if you have heard of MATLAB, you know, uh, this is open source alternative of uh, commercial app, uh, commercial package, uh, it's a plotting library. All right, uh, that's two is installed. pip install numpy, All right, that two is installed. If you have not installed these three, then pause the video, just install these three. Once you're done, just say Jupyter or Jupyter Notebook. And this happens. Now let's go ahead. Okay, there was an untitled here. Already is there. I will delete it. Let me create a new one for you. And uh, let me sh start with the most interesting part. Okay, there's something called magic commands in uh, IPython, uh, especially in Notebook. I'm, I'm sorry. And there you have, you can uh, you can run these magic commands, and you can have the functionality that is usually not available in uh, your Python uh, environment. You can run bash commands. Uh, there are you know other magic commands. If you Google magic commands Jupyter, and it will tell you all about it. Built-in magic commands. So alias, these are not actually, you know, Python commands, but you can use them and they come in pretty handy when you are doing a lot of advanced stuff. So since we have already installed these package, uh, I will hit enter. As you can see, if I hit enter, it's not executing that import matplotlib. Uh, that is import that library, we'll import numpy as np, then p uh, import mat matplotlib, I think I gotta increase the font here, matplotlib uh, dot pi plot as plt and then plt as in plot uh, plt dot plot uh, 1, 2, 3, okay 12 through, okay one. I should have just say range but let's be it, no problem plt dot X label okay you have x axis and y axis and this is x axis and plt dot y label label spelling is wrong as you can see I can do all this uh, in here but I can't do in regular IDE or Python console that is why it's called interactive because I can interact with it this is y label Okay, uh, yeah, I want to label one thing as label, another one as axis, and then I will say plot dot show control enter to execute. See what happened here? I can see it, the inline um, command here, the inline part of the command tells it, uh, tells the Jupyter that you don't have to uh, make it as a pop up, otherwise, it will come up as a new window, a pop up. Uh, we don't want that, we want to see it as embedded. Uh, you can do a lot more advanced uh, stuff with it. You can download uh, existing Jupyter books online, um, open them here. You can upload them here in your Jupyter, uh, play around with them, and then you will know uh, the real functionality. So this is a cell. I want to insert uh, a cell above. I'm sorry, insert here, insert cell above. And I want to put some notes here. Uh, below is a demo of matplotlibrary. So what I want to do here is I will say cell, cell type, okay, cell, cell type, it's not good. I'm going to say markdown and hit control enter. So that becomes a notes now. That is no more, uh, you know, uh, a code. So I want to get a new cell. So shift enter. So I have a new cell now. What I want to do here is print um, Batman Forever 
controls. All right, so as you can see, the output and the command are part of one cell. Let's say Batman is Wayne. As you can see, the number jumped up now for, I wanna say uh, control and as you can see, every time I execute that cell, the number here increases, right? So let's say, I will show you another thing and I will say above is a sample command and I will go cell here and cell type markdown and shift enter right now that is just a note uh, that doesn't have a cell number or anything so this the entire thing is just one uh, uh, what you can say a uh, one segment or one topic here, uh, so this is uh, a way where you can present data. Let's say you are uh, doing some presentation. Okay, this uh, month, these are the things that we have sold. Uh, this is a trend. Uh, if we change our parameters uh, slightly here, instead of two, we make it like six or something. And then we see our uh, sales will go up instead of the going, uh, you know, going like this, our sales will touch here or something. Now you can show that to management and they will, decide right so that is uh, the usage that I can think of uh, you might have other usages in your head you're welcome now go ahead and uh, uh, you know, make use of it let's say you want to delete this I don't like it I press double D and you don't know okay you want to find out what are the shortcuts here notebook help markdown you know you have uh, about use keyboard shortcuts these keyboard shortcuts are different for mac and windows are linux so windows plus linux one uh, type for mac you have a slightly different uh, key bindings so this is all you have what you can do now here is once you prepare uh, this presentation instead of like you know powerpoint you can only have fixed data uh, the data is not interactive okay in this way you can either export it as uh, python notebook or you can export it as html and uh, open html and send this to your boss boss okay here is the data so this is all the data that you enter and with that you get this or if your boss is uh, you know who can knows uh, who knows how to use a notebook uh, Python Jupyter Notebook, you can send him uh, this package itself, you know, IPYNB, right? Interactive Python Notebook. Format itself, he can open it, he can check it and uh, say, okay, good job, we will take uh, our next quarter in this direction to meet our target, right? So that is how it's going to be. Thank you for tuning in and you have a great day. You take care. Bye.